And we're back. Ah! ah what? <laughs> Good old Discord cutting you out, cutting you off oh. mid-scream again. Hello, barbarians. Um, I wasn't dressed. Come on. What was it? You didn't let me put on my Sunday vest before we uh, started. Oh, I mean, that kind of sucks, but at the same time, like, you know, we're, we're doing mm. voiceovers, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh. You know, I got once told that I had a face for radio. I'm sorry. Yeah. But at the same time, I wouldn't be able to tell you whether or not that's true, because we haven't seen each other before. Which is huh. a little bit weird, considering we do a show together. Yeah, well, who cares? I mean... I... Fair? Like, uh. I don't know, what do you want me to say? Yes, you have a face for radio. Yeah. You want Insult me to say that? Me. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Stick, I want you to know... Never in my life, or have I seen someone with a face... Uh, and that's the end of the scene. Oh, that, well, yeah. I've yeah, never seen yeah, someone actually, with a face. Yeah, no, that, everybody <laughs> to me is like Slenderman. They just don't have, they oh, don't God. have faces. So. That's, that's like a creepypasta somewhere, I'm sure. Someone. Somewhere. So, someone. Do you know about the Morley Man creepypasta? Uh, I have not kept up on creepypastas and I forget a lot of them. So there's the a guy. Man? There's a guy called Sagan Hawks. I believe I'm saying his name correctly. And okay. he. Carl Sagan? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think there's a. Carl Sagan Hawks. I don't. I, it's his first name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Think Carl Sagan a is someone completely different. Uh, so, Caleb, know. throw up on the screen a picture of the video that I'm talking about, like the thumbnail or like a link to to Carl yeah. or, or to Sagan's video. Um, <laughs> to Carl Sagan. To yeah. Car yeah. Also put up <laughs> Carl. Put up a also picture put of Carl, Carl Sagan's Sagan. face. Yep, yep. And then, yep, like, put you. up a picture of my avatar and, like, rub them two together. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, make it super weird. This is weird. getting weird. I don't... <laughs> make it super weird. Point being. These are things you do off camera. Oh, is it? I don't it? know what you're doing. Well, yeah. I'm shooting. I already told Caleb to do it. Caleb, but... Caleb, Caleb, scrap all that. Scrap all that. Don't You don't have to do yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he has to do it, but then regret it. I mean, that's it. just... That, I don't know how, I don't know how, is, that doesn't translate very well to video, I think. Just say I'm sorry. That's okay. all you have to do, Caleb. Say I'm sorry. Okay, I, yeah. Say you're sorry. Easy. Do it. <laughs> Thank you. This Thank is you, gonna Caleb. be a fun one. Um, point being, you. uh, no, so Carl, or, got me saying Carl Sagan <laughs> I got now. you saying Carl Sagan over Sagan Hawks made a video. Um, I, I know him because he did, like, FNAF stuff. But he made a video mm -hmm. about some creepypastas. Uh, mm -hmm. and, like, modern creepypastas. Like, modern creepypastas. Creepypastas that have been happening recently. And one of them okay. is a series about a guy called the Morley Man. Um, who is a Slenderman-like figure. Uh, that, uh... I mean, I don't know what more to say. Like he's he's a he's a Slenderman-like figure that uh, corrupts like not it. He doesn't just take children. I, I believe that mm -hmm. was a, an original Slenderman thing where he would like steal children. Instead of just stealing children, he'll like steal a part of their soul and then also make everyone forget about the child and then okay. go like find photos of that child and corrupt their faces so you can't remember what they look like. Interesting. I don't know. It was super... I'm, I'm, I'm probably explaining it poorly. Um, it was super weird. It was super creepy. Uh, very fascinating stuff. I hey, love... Put, put a picture of the Morley Man up on the screen. <laughs> I don't think the Morley... Uh, oh, Jesus, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy. Holy I, crap. I don't think that there's any pictures of the Morley Man. I'd have to... Caleb, do some research. Yeah. But well, if we you are, find one, put it up. We are we are uh, putting a lot of pressure on Caleb this uh, this episode. Caleb needs to do some work. Okay. okay. I yeah. I, can, I, I guess I can agree with that. Um, yeah. but. Ooh, promotion. Yeah, yeah, get that guy promoted. So it's interesting how many um, like creepy pastas or scary stories just end up wrapping back to Slenderman or well, Slenderman style creatures. Yeah, he was like the well. And I, so the Morley Man is obviously derivative. 
of uh, of of OG Slenderman. But uh -huh. yeah, I agree with you that like uh, Slenderman was one of the OG creepy pastas, um, yeah. and a lot of them are. You know, a lot of them are, are derivative. A lot of them. Well, originally, I, I don't remember if it started on 4chan or if it started on Reddit. It might have been Reddit, but the original Slenderman didn't even have the name Slenderman. It was uh, a single picture that someone put up Let's call him of a really just tall figure. They call him the skinny dude. Well, so <laughs> then a an amateur film group made like a little short video about uh, a, ma a really tall man with no face wearing a really nice suit. Mm, because there's and... nothing creepier than a tall white dude in a suit. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Am I, um... am I wrong? <laughs> but anyway, so they took that concept and someone made a creepypasta based around Slender Man and like Pages and things like that. The eight and, pages. You know, oh, it became a video and then, game. And then Slenderman and the Eight Pages, or whatever yeah. that game was, the first one to come out. That just sparked basically the whole franchise oh. of Slenderman. Which uh, um, uh, that I remember playing that game as a. When did that game come out? I I, yeah, I was a teenager. Oh, like 2010. I was maybe. a teenager. So a uh, bit of a confession here, but like, there was a Wolfie had a phase where he. When, th like, he wanted to do creepypasta stuff, and he okay. got super into creepypastas. Like, I was super into creepypastas as in, I was reading about creepypastas all the time, and yeah. I, you know, did a bunch of research on creepy. Like, I love creepypastas. I still do yeah. to this day. Um, the Slender Man made a young teenage Wolfie afraid of the dark for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a good. I, I think that was always a challenge. A little like, bit. You know, as kids, we're like, oh yeah, I'm not afraid of anything. Oh so no, I was. Read terrified. all these scary things. Or I watch was, scary movies. I was freaked out by Slenderman as a. Well, right, but y you would you would act like you're not afraid, and then you'd ac you'd actually read the creepy poster and you'd, like brag to your friends. Yeah, I'm not scared of that. Uh, that's, that's child play. And then you'd lay awake at night, <laughs> wondering when you're gonna die. Oh man, I. I still love creepypastas to this day. And part of the reason why, um, you know, part of the reason why I was talking about freaking uh, uh, eating house. The Mori man. Yeah, the Morley man. Um, is because the Mori. The Mori man. Uh, it just the mailman. I, I love yeah, the mailman. I love the creepypastas, man. but I'm an absolute wuss when it comes to anything horror related. Like I, uh, we need to have you play. I've some never games, beat. Right? I've never played FNAF because I, at least when it was coming out, when, when was that? Twenty fourteen. Mm -hmm. So I'd have been sixteen years old. Um, yeah, I'm twenty five by the way. Uh, <laughs> um, when you're when, old, yeah, I'm old. When FNAF came out, I didn't want to play it because I was terrified. Like I am. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Scott, it's, it's you made a insanity. you made a movie or not a movie? You made a city and you named it Dumb Fries. Dumb fries. Dumb fries. <laughs> or um, dumb fries. Pro it's probably more like dumb fries. It's, yeah, it's probably yeah. dumb fries. But I want to say dumb fries. You got some dumb fries over there. Man. You gotta <laughs> dumb fries. You gotta educate your fries um, a little bit more. So Slenderman, back to Slenderman. Yeah, yeah. You've got other IPs that have copied right off of Slenderman. Right. You ever watched uh, Doctor Who? Uh, very little like when other? I was a okay. kid. So during Matt Smith's run, there was an enemy uh, or an alien race that they would fight called the Silence. Okay. And they were tall creatures uh, with just eyes. So they had eyes. They had no mouth. Mm. Um, they looked very similar to Slender Man. Mm. And the way those creatures worked is that you would remember them as long as you were looking at them. Once you looked away and they were out of your vision, you forgot completely about them. Like a men in black type, like, it's just gone. Kind of, yeah. That's... And it's a really terrifying creature, but it's it's exactly like Slenderman. It, I thought I thought Slenderman... Maybe I'm remembering this wrong. I, I haven't read the Slenderman creepypasta in a while, but I thought Slenderman was like... Uh, the kind of guy who, like, he would just make your vision glitch, and he would, like, 
kidnap people in the woods. Yeah, something. yeah, he would kidnap people. But I mean, the the concept of Slender Man has bled into other horror themes and such. I mean, even FNAF, right? The idea of uh, kids being tormented or stolen they got, away. They and got things like killed that. and possess robots now. Yeah, the exactly. Robots, yeah, Freddy and the gang. Exactly. Um, what is it? The the one that. When you brought that up, it made me think of uh, SCP. I'm gonna piss off so many people because I don't remember the the number. Um, 097. 09 is it the peanut? It You're talking peanut. Yeah, yeah. peanut. Where like you 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 gotta look at him. There's so many things where it's like if you look at this. Oh God, even like smile.jpg. Um, where, like, if you look at this, then something bad will happen. And so, like, you're not allowed to look or, you know. No, 097, 097 is, was uh, you have to look at it to keep it from moving. No, nah, 097 is actually yeah, yeah, it is. not Thanks, that. Was it? 097 is the location of land. It... <laughs> I don't remember. I'm sure that there's a freaking... People can have the model T in SCP something something rather, but um, no the the SCP the the, the, the peanut one seven three is peanut. Oh okay, so peanut where you have to look at uh yeah. you have, you to, have look to look at him and not blink otherwise they kill yeah you. otherwise he'll like kill you and and they that, snap your neck. Um. That is a very like prevalent idea where it's like you either shouldn't look at something or something bad will happen to you or you have to look at something or something bad will happen to you yes. which by the way interestingly enough mm. that scp mm. is i don't know which came first but either it is based off of the weeping angels or the weeping angels is very similar to scp 173 because the weeping angels again doctor who weeping angels oh, as long as you're looking at them they don't move they don't attack you if you look away or blink they can move. That otherwise yep. they look just like a statue. That, that seems almost identical in how they work. The only difference is that instead of snapping your neck and just killing you, uh, they send you back in time and then feed off of your time energy. But yeah. interesting. Yeah. Uh, it must be. They basically off. trap you in a time loop um, and and siphon off your time and then die. See, man, we need to do a podcast about. Um... Doctor stuff. Who? I'd be full down for I, that. I I know very little about Doctor Who, so you'd probably have to carry me through that I podcast. I used to love Doctor Who. Used to. Oh, like in recent years, have they like Disney-fied it? Or... It has been Disney-fied, uh, inclusive, 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 died, inclusive. Inc I believe whatever. the proper term that you're looking for is DEI'd. <laughs> it was DEI'd. <laughs> there sure. you go. Right? Is that it? I, it's been uh, sure. Why it's, not? It, it's been. They're uh, trying to be changed. so inclusive that it's exclusive. Oh, that put it that way. That seems a little bit backwards, but I'll take yes. your word for it. Um. Hey. Yeah. Are very honest. Hey. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. But yeah. It, also, the newer doctors just suck. Oh. The writing sucks. Oh, that's always a shame. It's always a shame when like a, um, like a. An OG franchise. When a good goes franchise bad. goes bad because yeah. of writers. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's. The best well, it's like the the newest. Well, not the newest, newest one. That's gonna start up soon. Uh, I don't remember his name, but uh, the the female doctor. It's not because she was a female that she was a bad doctor. It's that um, who was it writing? Uh, Pertwee? No. I I know. Anyways, the the <laughs> head know. writer. <laughs> The head writer was basically turning the character into a contrivance of they do no harm, but they threaten everybody with harm. Um, and so like they a had hopper so character. many ex machina. It was just not fun to watch. I was gonna say like a hopper character from from um, a Bug's Life, where they're not super powerful, but they they make everyone think that they are. Well, the Doctor themselves is powerful, oh. right? but basically the, the philosophy of the Doctor is do no harm. They, they took an oath to do no harm. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, um, it's not Archimedes. Uh, what am I thinking of? What? <laughs> e 
TF2 made a joke about that. I don't even remember, like, what is it? The, the oath where you're not supposed to, like... The Hippocratic Oath? That one, the is Hippocratic. That what you're talking about? Freaking thinking of Medic's bird, Archimedes. Archimedes? <laughs> Archimedes is the bird. Yeah, it's filthy. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, sorry, continue. I cut you off. <laughs> Anyways, the, the character themselves is so flatly designed. Mm. Like, they have basically no character depth because you're just uh, supposed to be like, yeah, they're the doctor. They can do whatever they want. Um, and then the companions, who are usually very intelligent and stand on their own, they have their own subplots and everything that goes on. In this one, they're a way for exposition to happen. I see. Or to ask questions that the audience has, and that's it. That's all they do. I believe that's also just exposition. Right, but, like, they, they just are there to explain things or have things be explained to them, and that's it. That seems like some quite poor writing in general. Horrible writing. But horrible writing. I, we would have to go do a deep dive on it. And yeah. unfortunately, yeah, we're yeah. I was gonna say take we're, a break pretty soon. We're, yeah, yeah, we're gonna. Um, no, at some point, yeah. Like, write that down. Like, let's do a let's do a Doctor Who. Don't write that down, let's Caleb. Do write a, that down for us. It, yeah, yeah. You do it, Caleb. Yeah. Screw doing work. Um, let's do yeah. a let's do a Doctor <laughs> Who uh, podcast at some point. On, maybe maybe more like just a sci-fi off sci-fi because I know we did one for um, Star Wars and Star Trek, but we can do other. Hmm. I like sci-fi stuff. I like sci-fi. horror stuff. We should do, we should do one sci-fi? podcast would be horror. Or war. One side, ca- one or podcast war. would be, would be uh, sci-fi, and then one podcast sure. would be uh, the mix. Like we could talk about like Alien and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah. Write that down. With Sigourney Weaver. Hmm. Write that down. Beautiful woman. Write that. Write that. Write that down. Write that. Down. <laughs> write that down. <laughs> write that down. Write that down. Okay. Um, but yeah, but between let's, then let's and now, yeah, let's take a break. I feel like we've gotten pretty far. Yeah. So uh, I'll see you what guys next do? time. Uh, we bought things. I've been I've been making like boons to my economy and religion. Oh right, while right, we've right, been right. doing. This. Oh yeah, you're up to eighty three gold per turn. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm actually I'm about to be ready to go back to war with them and. Try and wipe them out. Nice. So, so I got we'll some. Berserk, I got a berserker core here, so we're ready to go. Yeah, yeah we'll do we'll that, do next, that time. next time. Back then. to war then. Okay. All right, talk to you guys later. Ah. 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 Ah.